Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for visiting today. Today, I'm gonna show you guys sort of a really rough warm up of exactly what I go through pretty much every single day whenever I start working. So, I like to do faces. I like to do people. I like to do, you know, shapes. I like to have expression. I like to do a lot of things whenever it comes to characters. And <clears throat> to really get in here and understand exactly why you need to do something like this every single day, especially if you want to be a character designer, is really you need to, you know, get out there and, and, and go into the world and look at people. You know, I am constantly trying to understand the human condition, the human form, really start, you know, to understand exactly what it is to, you know, be a illustrator and cartoonist and, and understand why it's important to really practice these basic fundamentals <clears throat> and do it on a regular basis. You know, <clears throat> I recently had the, the great opportunity to speak at a, um, at a school and, you know, I had originally, uh, I like to do, whenever I do uh, um, talks and stuff for schools, I usually like to break it up into the 30-30-30 method, which is basically 30 minutes of introduction, 30 minutes of application, which I would typically do a demo, and then of course, 30 minutes of Q&A, and then that kind of wraps it up. It, it keeps things lively and it keeps the students uh, and people in general, because most of the time people can't really focus longer than 20 to 30 minutes. So you keep it at that 30 minute block and then you know you move to practical application when they observe and then you have Q&A. <clears throat> so unfortunately, the technology that I was having to deal with <laughs> during the uh, during the talk, I, I couldn't I couldn't stream, I couldn't do Wi-Fi, I couldn't do, you know, video projection, I couldn't do anything. So I had to basically talk for an hour, and then I did <coughs> I did um, you know, I did QA for uh, you know 30 minutes. So that being said, it really gave me an opportunity to really talk about exactly why it's important as an illustrator, character designer, to draw, you know, draw something every day. We, you know, we, we as artists are constantly striving to be better, obviously. We're constantly striving to improve ourselves as artists, but a lot of times we don't have the tools to do that. And, you know, we get frustrated, I know I do. I get really frustrated all the time with my artwork, to be honest with you. You know, like this morning, I've got to sit down and I've got to do probably about eight and a half hours of digital sculpting. And see, whenever whenever I do artwork and stuff, I like using these, <laughs> if anybody can relate. I like using my hands, I like feeling. And whenever I sit down and I do stuff like this, I can feel the paper, I can feel the pencil, I can feel the tooth of the paper, I can, I, I can feel the resistance of the paper. And all these things are tactile, you know, I'm a very, tactile, touchy uh, artist. I like to feel my media. I like to feel my medium that I'm drawing with. And I just, that's just the way I am. And whenever I do digital sculpting, it's, uh, you know, I know there are tools out there to help give you resistance. <clears throat> um, but, make sure I'm on the page here. But, that being said, the reality is, is, you know, in a digital environment, you don't have that feedback. Um, recently, I, I've been looking to possibly add a, some type of film or something onto my, um, my devices. I know my, it's just so slick. I don't know if anybody can, can relate to that. But my, you know, my, my devices, my digital devices, they're just so slick. And, and honestly, it, it, it removes me. And, and, I, and I lose, 
I don't want to say lose interest because, you know, in terms of subject matter, I'm, I'm always trying to strive and be better and, and learn more about a subject. But, you know, 30, 40, 50 minutes in, you know, I'm drawing on a slick surface and I don't have this feedback. So if anybody has any ideas or anything like that, like a textured um, screen protector, something that I can really utilize whenever it comes to those digital uh, devices, that would be awesome. So what I was saying was, you know, really understanding why we need to do something small every single day. I told the students, I said, you know, whenever you start on this art career, because they're all budding artists and they're going to be going out into the the great wide world of art soon, I said, you're going to, you're going to change, you know, and what does that mean? And, and I said, you're going to change the way you view the world. You're going to change the way that you do things. And, it, and that's just a natural progression of life and you as a human being. But as an artist, you should always be striving and, and looking for that next grand adventure. Um, I don't know what artist it was. It might have been Picasso, you know, one of the greats, of course. Of course, I'm drawing right off the page so you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to adjust my camera here really quick so you guys can see. Sorry about that. Um, <coughs> he said, you know, your artwork is never finished. It is only paused briefly until you, you know, get better enlightenment or understanding. And another artist said... Um, finished, not perfect. So there has to be that moment in time whenever you realize that the piece is not going to be perfect and you have to kind of realize that it is what it is and you're not going to get anything else out of it. And that's, you know, what I, what I really, <clears throat> I really try to just tell students a lot of times, you're not looking for perfection. It is a process that you are going through to discover who you are. Not only as an artist, but a human being. I have really discovered lots of things about myself through my artwork through the years. Of what I like, what I dislike. Um, <clears throat> and these things have really helped me uh, develop my artwork. So today, I'm doing just literally, I'm doing faces. So. Adjust the camera here. Make sure that I got plenty of room. Yes. I'm doing faces. What does that mean? That that means basically I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start, you know, doing, you know, your simple, your simple shapes. Um, I'm doing uh, a class right now, learning about basic shapes and what, how you can break down a form into the most basic shape before you start adding all the peripherals, all the details, all the things that you want to build your character on. So, um, like this particular character, um, you know, I'm thinking about, okay, this one's going to be sort of a business guy. He's going to be serious. So the brain capacity is larger, but also, um, he's going to have smaller eyes because he's constantly, uh, wincing, uh, or looking at, um, maybe some science papers. He's got a long neck. And that kind of gives him, uh, you know, a staunchness, a, uh, a business-oriented staunchness. Maybe he's got a business shirt on, okay? Um, he's older, so he's going to have, his ears are going to be a little bit floppier. But he's a good listener, so I'm going to give him a little bit bigger ears. So then I come in, and since he's older, he's going to have this little bit of a saggy neck right here. And a little bit of a chin. He's not going to be really strong-willed. And, and I'm going through this and I'm thinking this the whole time. So he's gonna have a little bit of an overbite. It's gonna be maybe. And I start doing voices in my head. I don't know if anybody else does that. You know, and I start thinking, oh, like, uh, you know, I, I was at the club the other night and I had myself a cognac. And so I start thinking, you know, how am I going to differentiate this character from the other characters that are on the page? Um, you know, maybe he's he's got a little bit of a comb over. Maybe he's a he's an aging teacher, um, and I'm not really delving into the 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 minutia of this particular character. I just want to get something on paper to get my hand warmed up. Maybe he's a curmudgeon. 
you know, his nose comes down a little bit more. Indeed. And he's got this frontal lobe that comes out, and he's got this brow that comes out. You know, the shadows. And I'm just trying to literally rough stuff in as I progress forward. Here, we'll lift you up just a little bit, see if I can't get one up here. Okay, it's gonna be a stretch. <clears throat> and, and I'm literally, I'm warming up, I'm warming up my arm, I'm warming up. Here, we're gonna come back down here, we're gonna finish this, this hair on this dude a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm warming up my, my arm for the day. And I'm not so, I mean, you know, I am engaging my brain, obviously, because I'm thinking of all these details, but, you know, not, not to the point where I'm, you know, getting stuck on any of them. Here, now we'll raise you up. That was kind of bothering me. Here we go. Um, <coughs> and... You know, drawing from life, drawing from, um, you know, what we feel is important, drawing from uh, our experiences, all these things are uber important. See, now we're going to come here, and he's got... I had a teacher. I've had a lot of teachers, of course. And I respect teachers, you guys. I mean, I, I'm a teacher myself, so I can, I can totally crank on, you know, the teachers that I've had. I had a teacher one time that uh, he was just, ugh. I think we've all had those teachers where, you know, we don't really understand why there's such buttholes, but they are. You know, maybe it's, maybe it's the fact that their mommies and daddies never loved them enough. Maybe they're just looking for control. Um, of course, later on you realize that they were really trying to bring something out of you that they knew was there the whole time. And they just want to make you a, a, a stronger, more proficient artist. But this guy, whew, he was quite a piece of work. I watched him berate quite a few students. And to the point where, you know, it was unpleasant if you ever had a teacher like that. And what I realized was he was trying to make people better. And he was trying to really push you because whenever you get out into the world... This guy, kind of like a hippie, maybe. He's a, he's a teacher, but he's an ex-hippie. And then he's got this mole right here. That's what that teacher had. He had a mole on his head. It's funny, later on, after, um, after you know, I left, because he was a music teacher, he, um, he, you know, he, he was a fantastic music teacher, but, you know, he was always trying to push. And after we left him, he got this mole removed. <laughs> and we always said... Oh man, you lost your superpower. That was your superpower. And he always had this little mustache, like right there. You know, it didn't go all the way up to his nose. And then he had this beard. It was always perfectly trimmed. And all the way up to his ears. And it was squared off like this. I was like, you know. And he was a doctor. You know, a doctor of music. Doctor, doctor, he was a doctor of music. And he always had, you know, his hair, he kind of, it wasn't a mullet, but it was definitely, he definitely had the hair going on. You know, with these collared shirts. I just wanted to take my fist some of the days and ram it down his face. Yeah, we'll do this up just a little bit so you can see that better. But he definitely made me a better musician. <laughs> so you can't really knock the guy for that, right? I mean, if, if he's doing things that are helping you, you know, get over yourself. Get rid of that pride. Get rid of that, that, uh, that self, that self nature that we all possess. <clears throat> so again, if you're, if you're going through here, you, you're recognizing that I'm drawing men today. I'm not drawing any women today. Oh, maybe, maybe. Well, I'm not really in a draw of a woman mood. Well, maybe I'll do just a really simple woman. Here we go. 
you know, being a cartoonist, being an illustrator, being a translator of life, as I like to put it, you know, you really have to have fun with it. You know, I'm constantly, like I said before, constantly trying to, maybe she's got a turtleneck on. <laughs> constantly trying to, you know, better myself and be a better artist, better illustrator. <clears throat> and utilizing these tools to create images and to, to do it on a broad swath, not only um, visual and drawing, but also using these lines to create form, using these shadows to, to accentuate the forms um, and the shapes and, and to really, you know, make a better drawing. Um, <clears throat> so maybe this one will be really surprised. You know, whoo! I think we all, at least I do, I make sounds whenever I draw. I don't know if you guys do or not, but I sure as heck do. You know. Having fun. You know, maybe this one has a with us peak up top. Our hair is pulled it's tight, 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 tight. You know, ponytail. And she's got this. High mouth comes up, comes to a point right here. She's like a fish. You know, whenever you, this looks very stylized, which it is, but you have to, whenever you, whenever you do stuff like this, you really have to have a knowledge of exactly how the human body works and how you can squash and stretch the, uh, you know, the face. Um, there's a great artist, and I, I'm sure you guys have seen him uh, on YouTube. Um, I, I don't know his whole name. It's, it's very interesting, but he goes by Proko. And Proko is a technician, and he's also a caricature artist, and he, and he does a lot of things that are really good. Um, I don't know, you know how long he was in the professional field doing professional work, but he does YouTube uh, full-time now, and which is fine. But he's got a really a, a lot of tips and tricks that I think would benefit you guys as far as art-wise. Um, you guys know that I really like Aaron Blaze and, and some of the other artists. Um, Bobby Chu's another really good one. Bobby Chu's philosophy is very similar to my own in the fact that he's always looking at, at things in terms of a, uh, how you can better yourself and be a better student and better... Um, a better artist overall. <clears throat> so we'll give her some glasses, but I think they need to be like this. Yeah. They kind of mask her. Let me do this right here. She's like, you sir need to go sit down and shush. So yeah, I spoke to the students. It was a lot of fun. I've done that before. I mean, obviously I teach. Um, you know, teach illustration and design and at the local uh, there's a private school that I teach at which is really cool and a lot of fun um, you know send to you a little bit more and I'll draw something right here and I really enjoy um, you know the banter and the feedback that comes with teaching and, and really just you know because I remember when I was coming up in the, you know, on, in the art field, I, I just had a, such a, a fire. And unfortunately, I think that a lot of times we think all that is going to be given to us. And it's not. You know, you really have to sit down. You have to try. And that's one of the things that I really try to iterate to the students that I teach is the fact that 
you really have to work <laughs> at this craft. You have to, you have to, this reminds me of somebody personal. It, you know, you have to work at it every single day. You have to think about it. And I, I can definitely understand why some people, um, it's, it's torturous because you're constantly thinking about this. Um, I told the students, I said, one of the things that I really recommend you doing is getting out. Getting out, really exploring um, your world. And, you know, experiencing life. So, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so we'll do one more and then we'll wrap it up. This really wasn't supposed to be a really long video today. I'm gonna be trying to post more videos, especially my warm up stuff. Um, you know, I, I've, I'm always, again, trying to uh, better myself and be a, a better artist overall. So I think that if you guys see somebody doing it, then it'll inspire you um, to do uh, something a little bit better. So, you know, if you look at this particular sketch right here, I mean, it's very simple. I mean, let's be honest, very simple. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, you know, I've roughed in, tank top on here we go so this would of course be the hair this long part right here would be the crux of the face you know the majority of the face and and now I've roughed in you know and I can go in and, and it's gonna have kind of like a maybe an afro maybe the ears you know maybe the ears are right here and a lot of times you guys will watch you know I'll, I'll do a shape on one side and since I'm not drawing um, I don't have a program to show me you know s symmetry I'll have to I'll have to base my uh, location of my ear on this one. So you see, you guys will see me go here. And what I'll do is I'll basically, I'll draw a line to the other one, okay? Again, I'm trying to feel out my, um, here, we'll adjust the land here. I'm trying to feel out my sculpture. I'm basically sculpting uh, the drawing, if that makes sense to you guys. So I'm gonna, again, we're gonna have a surprised face like this. Okay. Okay, so the jowls will come out like this. She's like, what are you doing on my lawn? Teeth like this. Get off my lawn, you blasted kids. You know, and whenever somebody gets mad, if you ever have taken any cartooning classes, there are certain basic principles of cartooning and of expressions. Whenever somebody gets really mad, their pupils, um, you know, they might get, their eyes get really big. So the white of the eyes get really big. So if you open all of that skin, okay, and you get that surprise, the pupils, I mean, they, they get smaller. I mean, they look smaller. Um, <clears throat> So what I'll do here is I'll just really simplify. And we have that eye comes up, comes around. And then we've got this, <laughs> it's funny. I, you know, my mom uh, passed away um, back in 2014. And of course I, you know, I miss my mom. There's a lot of sadness there. But on the other hand, my mom, oh my gosh, my mom's crazy. <laughs> She was crazy, dude. Some of the things, I think it was probably the fact that she had two sons and, you know, a daughter. So we had three kids and, you know, my dad being from the old school, he, he was, he was very, I don't want to say hands off. I mean, he was of the, of the, of the knowledge that kids should be, um, seen, but not heard. So we didn't really talk to my dad a lot. So we got a lot of the translation from my mom. And dude, she would scream, holy moly. She would scream and it would, it would frighten you. And later on, it wasn't frightening anymore. <laughs> Cause she screamed so much. 
And she had this curly hair, it was like an afro. And then she had these glasses. They were like half the size of her face, like this. You know? And, and her scream was like, I, I can't, I, I, I can actually do it perfectly um, because I heard it so much because she screamed at me so much. But it was funny because it's like she would, uh, she would scream and then like, then she'd be completely calm. So it was like a release, it was like a pressure valve. You know, we would do something and then she would scream. Um, oh my God, oh my God. And she would have this weird language. I don't know if anybody had their mom had a weird language. And it was like her body couldn't, her mind and body could not sustain the amount of anger that was coming out of her. So it came out in this burst. And then she was calm again. So it was like a pressure release valve. So we knew that after mom had the pressure release valve, she was okay. And then she would talk. But that's, this kind of reminds me of my mom right here. And she always, she always liked um, tiger stripes. She had a lot of tiger stuff going on. It was really funny. So anyway, I didn't want to get too far into this today, but this is the sheet of warm-up faces um, from today. Hopefully you guys enjoy um, me rambling on. And um, I'm gonna try to, you know, I am gonna, I'm, I keep saying I'm gonna try to get more videos out to you guys, I am. So this is today's warm up. Hopefully tomorrow will be something different. I don't know how long it's been on this, 20, 30 minutes. So enjoy, like, and subscribe. And, um, you know, put in the comments anything that you guys would like to see. One of my most popular videos, believe it or not, is how to, how to, um, what is it? How to draw three dimensionally, how to, um, how to think three-dimensionally, how to sketch three. I, I don't remember what it was, I have to look it up. But if you guys wanna see more of that, let me know. If you wanna see more cartoons, let me know. If you wanna see digital illustration, let me know. Um, I can do uh, fan art, which, you know, I, I'm not really interested in doing fan art. I think it's fun, but at the end of the day, I just really, I just like drawing my own stuff. That's why you guys, you know, I'm working on my children's book right now. So he's got some hair out the back. He's got perfect hair, maybe he's got perfect hair. He's got this curl that comes down right here. Yes, his lips. Anyway, thank you guys, and we'll definitely see you soon.